So past three bodies of work I've done, I've really tried to be more, thought, more thoughtful about the titles that I use for the work, as opposed to being merely descriptive, bridge in autumn, downtown, Troy, New York, or something like that to describe what it is. Um, I've tried to find something that runs sort of parallel or, or lateral to the, um, to the work. I keep a notebook on, on my couch, on my end table and my coffee table. And when I'm sitting there reading, a thought comes to me, I literally write down possible titles. So I have been doing this for years. And when I first started doing it, they were mostly two word titles, distant country, return ticket, expiration date. They're all possible titles and then become a little bit longer and they come from a lot of different places. I read a lot that could be something I've heard in conversation, something I've seen out of context, um, poetry, um, music lyrics. There's one in the show that's from a Leonard Cohen song. I it's important for anybody to know that sort of stuff, but sometimes I, I grab a little something and then I think putting it with the work, pairing it with the work adds another dimension for you to it. Obviously, if you're not reading the titles, you're just experiencing the work, and that's how most people are going to experience it anyways. But I just see it as another element that the, an artist has at their at their uh, disposal to use. I'm using, and I have fun with this. Um, I think I probably wish I was a poet, and so the idea of doing this allows me to feel a little bit like I'm I'm walking a little bit out world. I, but growing up, my biggest influences as a kid were comic books and television. Um, I didn't have access to museums and fine art and that sort of stuff. And so it's really informed my, the way I see things. And so I always responded well to the, the, the writings on film seemed to really get to the core of the images um, and what was in it. And I felt like the, the filmmakers would think an awful lot about what, how the image was composed, the angle, the elements that were in there, the color, the lighting, that I wasn't hearing discussed as much when talking about static art paintings and drawings and such. So anyways, I use that as a tool for me to learn that and hopefully I take some of that with me and people do comment that the, the, the paintings do look like they could be uh, stills from a film, which I, I like that element. And oftentimes people say there's some sort of narrative here and there's some, some sort of narrative is the key part for me because I want to suggest that. I want there to be like something has happened, something's about to happen, something is going to happen outside of the frame. That engages the viewer to participate more. I know it sounds cliche, but you know every painter says they want the they want the audience to finish the painting for them. But I do think that's a big part of good work, solid work, work that I find interesting is work where I have to go up with and I have to do a little bit of the work. Um, I don't like to go to a movie where everything's spelled out for me, uh, where the characters are telling me what is happening. I want the filmmaker to show me what's happening.